Hi guys, you are watching Oxy Vlogs. If this is your first time here and you would like to know more information about life in Dubai, don't forget to hit subscribe button and the notification icon so you won't miss anything. If you are subscribed to my channel, you've noted that I've been sharing a lot of information about how to get a job in Dubai. And I noticed that one of the most popular jobs in Dubai is a real estate agent. So today I have a special guest, Dennis. Hi guys, my name is Dennis and I'm a real estate agent in Dubai. If you're new to this channel, over here I'm trying to help investors to understand better the real estate market in this city. He's a real estate agent in Dubai and let's ask him a couple of questions about what is it like to be an agent in Dubai and whether you should apply for this job or not. So guys, here is Dennis. Hi Dennis. Hi Oxy. Hi guys. Thank you for coming. So can you tell us uh, please about yourself and how long have you been uh, working in this industry? Uh, okay guys, so my name is uh, Dennis. I'm working in this industry already for more than five years. And uh, mainly I'm working with the off-plan projects in, in the sales of the uh, projects that are under construction. So this is my focus at, at this stage. In Dubai, I'm already for around seven years and initially I came here to work in the hospitality and after that I moved to the real estate. Okay, thank you. And uh, can you tell us why this industry is so popular in Dubai? There are so many agents and people really want to start working in the real estate agency when they are planning to move to Dubai. Well, first of all, there are several reasons. Uh, first of all, obviously real estate gives you a very good chance to make some good money. Uh, you're working with the most expensive uh, uh, item to sell, most probably, <laughs> the apartments and, uh, and villas. And obviously, if you are good in this, you will have, uh, as I said, a quite good uh, income. So this opportunity obviously attracts uh, people to this industry. Another reason is that it's quite easy to find a job in the real estate. Uh, for the real estate company, it's uh, not a such big problem to hire uh, an agent uh, because they're not paying salary uh, over there and they don't have such big requirements okay and uh, this is another reason why I think uh, people are attracted to this uh, industry and in the end it's a quite uh, interesting uh, job to do because you will have a chance to visit some outstanding uh, units uh, like uh, something that you will ne never will be able to visit uh, if you're working in another industry, industry. Yeah, so this is quite exciting as well. And I think you meet a lot of interesting people and successful people Definitely. as well. Uh, but I don't think it's the reason why people are joining the real estate. Yeah, but, just like uh, an additional value. Yeah, this is something that you realize uh, once you are in already. So people who want to work in a real estate industry, what are the first steps for them to start working as an agent? how they can become an agent. Um, For example, if you are not based in Dubai, you live abroad, how you can become an agent in Dubai? Well, you what can send your CVs to, to different uh, companies, to the recruiters, okay? They will uh, uh, get you in touch with uh, some companies. You can pass the Skype interview. And uh, as I said, it's quite easy to find a job in the, uh, in the real estate company. And if they uh, decide to go ahead, uh, with you if the company decides to hire you uh, like you will once you're here you will have to get a license uh, to get a license you will need to to pass an exam and before the exam there is like a three days classes about the regulations and the laws uh, exam is quite easy uh, if you study the, the material and uh, yes once you pass the exam you can start working working as a real estate agent Okay, and uh, what are the main requirements when you're applying for this job? Well, obviously, um, the manager will check your communication skill. In the real estate, we're not working with the real estate, we're working with people. Mm -hmm. Because there are sellers, buyers, tenants, landlords, and uh, so you need, to, uh, you need to have some good communication skills to, to deal with them. And uh, like uh, your personality, you should be open, uh, open-minded. And um, 
and the sales skills. Sales skills is, is very important in, in this industry. So uh, this, I believe, uh, is the most important uh, uh, points where managers is paying attention to when they hire somebody. And uh, some companies prefer to hire people with experience and uh, others prefer to hire people without the experience. So it's not a problem if you don't have any experience. Okay. And uh, I have a question on my channel about what is the salary in this industry? Do uh, they have any basic salary? Well, as I said in the beginning, the company, they're not paying salary, but there is an option. Mm -hmm. Like if you go to work for the uh, real estate developer, so developers, they do pay uh, some salary and commission mm -hmm. on top. In uh, real estate companies, there is only commission. Uh, so uh, that's why it's very important if you are joining the real estate, you need to have a, a financial, financial pillow for a few months. So in case if you will not have any deals, mm -hmm. uh, you will be able to, to go through this period. <laughs> So, um, and what is the difference between working for accept of salary uh, when you work for an agency and when you work for a developer? Okay, there is one main difference that when you're working for the developer, you need to sell or rent uh, his stock, uh, his projects only. And while you're working as a real estate agent, you can work absolutely with everybody. There is no uh, limitation on this. Okay, so you have a big variety of projects that you can sell to the clients. Yes, and uh, like some of my friends who were working as real estate agents, they joined the developers and some of, the, of my friends who were working as developers, they're going... Uh, back to the agency? Not back, they're moving to the agency. So uh, I cannot really tell uh, what is better. Mm -hmm. I prefer to work as a real estate agent because I can offer to my clients big variety of uh, the projects. And you can be more flexible, right? Yes, and uh, like uh, I will have uh, I will have an option to compare different projects because if you go to the developer, they will say that our project is good, but the rest is is bad. So yeah. Okay. And what can you recommend to people who are who want to work in real estate, and what tips can you give them? Well, before uh, I applied for the position in the real estate, I had um, one month. Uh, to prepare myself. I didn't obviously work before in the real estate and during these months I was watching lots and lots of uh, videos mainly on YouTube with uh, different uh, trainers that are related to the real estate uh, and something for the that is related to the sale process. Um, but uh, I would recommend to get as much as possible information about uh, uh, like working negotiation in the real estate, working with the buyers, working with the sellers uh, how to do the presentation of the property viewings and um, practice uh, your communication skills as well yes and um, uh, one month was enough for me to get a quite good base of knowledge and um, I was lucky enough I started closing deals on my first month and uh, like I had on, a, on the second week I had uh, rentals and by the end of the month I already had the sale yeah it's a great start I heard there are some guys who cannot close even deals for six months. Is yeah, guys, it's, it's, it's very important. It's very important to understand it, that uh, you can do absolutely everything right. You are hardworking, you're a very dedicated person, but uh, by some reason you're not uh, closing the, the deals. It mm -hmm. happens. I don't have an answer why it happens. There is no luck. <laughs> yeah, maybe an, an element of luck is, uh, is important as well. Uh, but uh, yes, just uh, be ready that um, sometimes you will not have income for some period of time. And uh, by the way, I know some guys who were not closing anything for a long time and after that they just start closing uh, very quickly. And by the way, another difference between the developers and real estate companies that uh, in the real estate company they can say, okay, try to close something next month. Uh, but the developer most probably will, uh, fire, you. will fire you. Yeah. they're paying you a basic salary and they don't want to waste their money. More harm yeah. Okay, Dennis, thank you very much. Thank you for your answers. Uh, by the way, Dennis has his real estate uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> it's, the link is here, so check it out. Don't forget to subscribe and 
Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like under this video. If you have any questions about real estate, please leave them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. See you guys.